<laughs> Alive. Well, I mean, what the heck is this? <laughs> what is going on here? Uh, auto save. I flipping need a sip of tea, I tell you. Oh, mama mia. This city is so, so bad. But we're going to fix it up. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Fix Your City with me, Biffa. Yes, that's right. We are back to fixing people's cities. If you want to send in one of your cities for consideration, there is a link in the description below. But this city was sent in by Vessel. It's over 200,000 in population, and it needs a lot of fixing. Let's just zoom out a little bit and take a look. This has taken up all nine squares of a map it is absolutely huge and look at the size of that and then we can see it's over 210 oh, 211 000. there's some people leaving you are playing on unlimited money so i'm going to do the same but you're losing a lot of money so let's see if we can actually get your weekly income to be in a positive by the end of this episode we'll do the best that we can now, one thing we always do check, of course, is the traffic in your cities. And as we look around, um, it doesn't seem too bad. Hmm. Wow, that is a lot of wiggly underground stuff going on there. There's a few hot spots here and there. But actually, overall, the city is okay. What do you think the percentage is at at the moment? Have a guess in the comments below just by looking at this. Let's come out of this view and I will tell you it is 76%. But let's have a look in here. You were playing with easy mode. So despawning is currently enabled easy mode. I've got a sneaky feeling you did mention that you used a couple of mods. So yes, you did use traffic manager, but you had it in. I call it easy mode. The game calls it easy mode. That would basically be vanilla type mode where traffic would just despawn if it got too bad there are still some hot spots though look you can see but what we're going to do is we're going to push your city to the limit we are going to turn off easy mode and then run the city for i'll probably say 10 or 15 minutes and see how well it stacks up i mean already this is 75 percent it's yeah it's moving it's okay excellent okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to zoom out into this view i am going to turn off despawning there we go i then put this view on here and we can see how red the roads get i'm going to set myself a timer for about 10 minutes i'll be back you just enjoy the time lapse oh also have a guess how bad do you think it's going to get i'd be very interested to hear your thoughts on that so leave me a comment how low will it go Wow, wow. We have got city-wide gridlock in this thing. I reckon maybe... Oh, this side's okay. That's interesting. But overall, look, we've got some of these areas over here. Wow. I reckon, overall, we've got down to 15%. Yeah, I reckon... Oh, look at this road here. This one is really bad. I reckon 15%. So let's just come back over here. Let's come out of this view... And let's now do the traffic. 12%. Oh, my giddy arm. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going <laughs> to dive into my taxes. I'm going to up these to 12%. We're going to tax people. There we go. Uh, that says 13. And try and get this city to make a little bit of money. There we go. And 12% on each. Yeah, there we go. And we'll see how that goes. I'm not going to dive into any details on that. I want to take a look. See, what I've noticed is, is you've got highways coming in. But you've got no way for traffic to go through your city easily without backing up, which is a bit of an issue. Um, let's have a look here. Yeah, we've got lanes that do multiple things. And no, ah, uh, no lane mathematics. I know that is an easy fix. For those that haven't seen it before, uh, we're going to go into here, grab our highway roads. We've got the standard normal roads that we've got here. Two lane highway, which is from the Mass Transit DLC. And we've got three lanes coming in here. And we can see that this lane is doing two things. If I pause there, look, straight on and right. And the game is going to get more confused. But if we down that to two lanes through here, we get one lane going off, which is this one. And then two lanes going straight on. 
So that's going to start adjusting how the cars think about this intersection. And then, whoop, this side, we've got one coming on, two coming on, goes back to three. So that is the idea. Uh, I'm going to, whoa, 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 jumpy, jumpy. I'm going to do the same there. Um, this one here, we need to up that to four. That's got this on here. We're going to lose a couple of houses. There we go. So that's the opposite way of doing it. So we get one lane going off, three, three. Then it goes one off down to two. One back on back to three. So simple lane mathematics. Hopefully cars will start thinking about how <laughs> my life. Well, I mean, what the heck is this? What the heck is going on here? This seems like a massive big six lane road coming up through here, which is. Whoa, instead of a highway. Okay, what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to pause the game while I'm doing this. because It's jumping all over the place. We're going to change this to a three-lane highway it's just going to be easier to work with through here there we go and we'll come back to that and then what i'm imagining is going to happen is so we've got three lane here one goes off down to two so we're going to up that to four we're going to do two sections there in fact i'm going to do that and i'm going to draw that in so hopefully we don't get a node in the middle so three spread out to four one goes off down to three one goes off down to two there we go. We'll get all of this through the middle here. There we, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. And then it comes back on back to three again. And then that goes all the way through to here. One goes off back down to two. Comes back on. Goes back to three. Ah, oh, lame mathematics. You've got to love it. I'm going to use the one with the sound barrier around it. So we'll do that all the way along here. That little bit there. And then one goes off. Yeah, so this is one of those weird ones. So we'll make this one... I'll delete that again. I don't want that sort of node in the middle. And the easiest thing to do is just delete it. Draw it in again. So four lanes. Did I not do four lanes there? Oh, I know. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, four lanes. I forget. Why isn't this changing? Ah, oh, yes. Lane mathematics. There we go. One goes off down to three. One goes off. And then this goes down to two. Comes back on back to three. Comes back on again. So then we're going to get four in here. Just for a couple of segments. And I'm also going to use this tool here in the middle there and say, don't merge. So come in here and then it's going to go down to three and then back to four for that one. Then we're back to the bit that we did before. So that should be okay on that side. All the way through there. All the way over here. This needs the lane mathematics again. Simple change. There we go. Arrows do what they should do. That's all the way through here. Oh man, this is like a pre-made junction isn't it because you've got one there and you've got one over there as well and this is the edge of the city now so oh man uh okay three off dead <laughs> grief i'm gonna just quickly whiz through this one okay that one should be done and then this one here we're gonna do this in fact if i do that here and that here then i'm doing both sides at the same time and i can keep up with what i'm doing down to three and then down to two okay these are really close together these two junctions so that is not great uh what i'm going to do is up that to four on both sides but that is going to be a real problem because people coming on from here that want to get across are going to get in the way of people coming this way so we may adjust that but for now i'll leave it like it is and just we'll keep working on the lane mathematics yeah okay because that will go one go off down to three and then one come off back to four yeah if that was further apart, I could do something else about that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down to two like it needs to be. And it means we're going to get double lanes there, which is fine. We can sort of sort that out anyway. And then what we can do here, um, just because these are too close together and I can't do anything else, so we can change that one. Um, so it's... Oh, that's only two there, isn't it? Oh, okay, do you know what? We'll have two go off. But there's only one lane up here. So what we'll do is we'll grab this one. And we'll change that to a two. And then it can sort of merge up there. It doesn't seem that busy. So I think we will just go with that. Yeah, that is splitting the lanes. But it doesn't sort of seem like it, does it? But that's three that way and one that way. One way you can sort of make sure that's happening is using our Hugo there. And you do control S. Hugo there. We know that that one's going up there. And these three are going on. So lane mathematics has been applied i'm just trying to see what's going on here so it's three one coming on and then one going off i mean ideally you want the going off to happen first because oh my goodness my brain i haven't done these in so long <laughs> why 
What's going on here? Oh, auto save. I flipping need a sip of tea, I tell you. And while we're hoping that all this is going to get fixed, while you're waiting, go to bifferplacemerch.com for all your autosave tips of tea, if I can say it correctly. Lay Mathematics and Hugo their merchandise. Oh, seriously, this is like the worst junction I've ever seen this thing. It's just like random roads coming in all over the place. I, I, just, I just don't like it at all. <laughs> I just don't like it at all. I'm just going through here. Oh, I think you've actually done a bit of Lay Mathematics there. Oh, fantastic um but yeah anyway i've just i've just done something with it we'll see what happens we're almost at the end here we go this is the end ah uh, these ones i like i can do the lame mathematics on these like super quick i always notice this little bit here yay there we go right so that is this section through here and then the highway where does it go it sort of goes round and loops down to this round and loops down to another one of these flipping junctions good grief yeah i mean i suppose the junctions could get a little bit worse i'm assuming what's happened here is you've tried to sort of connect up a load of roads together and do some things but anyway i'm on the last little bit of the highway uh trying to get it to work let's go up to four on there down to three jumpy jumpy then down to two then back to three and then four over here and i'll probably do the same in the other direction Yep, there we go. And then that follows around to here. Oh, one of the easy ones. Nice. There we go. And then along to one of the... <laughs> it just looks like they've gone bleh with a load of roads on there. Oh, man, just these junctions too close together. It's just... This is just... I might end up going through this city and removing... Uh, have I done that one there? Three, four... It's like either me or somebody did something there. Yeah, but not anything there okay all right i'm just i can't oh i don't even know which i'm going there oh that was it down to the end here yeah okay fine so i think that's most of the most of the highway if not all of the highway done i'm counting this as north on the map just so i can see what's going on what the heck is going on with these ships so all the ships are deciding to go above the water uh, on off uh, onto the land hey ho what are we at 194,000. we're making money look at that we are making money that was one of the things i wanted to do right so <laughs> what is next what are we up to 20 percent is going up what's next on the list right so i think what i want to do next is maybe concentrate on some of these roundabouts because they're big sort of points where the traffic's coming in and it's just sort of stopping um let's start up here and just sort of work our way in a manner that seems reasonable to do so let's just take a look what we've got here so you've got six lanes on your roundabout you've got three lane roads coming in so i mean it depends how you want to do it really and you've also got houses like built on the roundabouts that is a huge no-no there we go i mean i perhaps wouldn't even put them on the outside but you possibly are okay if you've got like traffic lights you've got stop signs or something there at the very most, I would put four lanes around here because I try and have one more lane than you've got coming in. And I don't particularly want to change all of your roads that are going between here. So let's see what we've got road option wise. Yeah, so basically it's going to be your highway road is the one that you've got that you can go for. The only downside of this is that now stops anybody walking and crossing over. It'll also remove all the houses from the outside, which is good so we could put a that's not what i want i want this one here a pedestrian bridge over the top we could do an in a roundabout yeah let's do that and see how that goes yeah that's okay we've got room for that because a lot of these houses are going to disappear and i can see you've all already done that sort of thing over here yeah we'll do that and then finally you want to set up your roundabout priority signs control shift highlight the roundabout and then left click so what that does, it's going to put yield coming in or give way. Um, oh yeah, this one here, that's right. It's going to keep these ones going, but not these ones here. So enter block, blocked junction. You want the ones on the roundabout to keep moving. And then you want these people coming up here to stop and wait. I'm also going to check for any errant stop signs. No, or traffic lights, you haven't. So that's good. What you might start seeing is the green residents, they'll disappear eventually is this will start moving a little bit quicker. We can see people are using this as a cut through road down here. All right, okay, so that's uh, that roundabout there. I might just go through 
and just quickly do a lot of your roundabouts. I mean, well, you've got two roads coming in and out. Let me just show you this example here. You really don't need that many lanes on there. Because oh, I haven't got, because of the roads you'll be using, I haven't got my vanilla plus roads. So what I don't necessarily want to do. Oh, I can do it here. You've got crossways over already. Is I'm just going to use a highway, uh, this one. So we're going to change that to three lanes. People can walk around using the crossover thing. We're going to do that and say blah, blah, blah. Oh, it also does that. Look, it gives one lane for going off. So that all works. Uh, I did notice you've got some stuff going on here. Yeah, that's fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on this one here? See, stuff like this just confuses the game. You really don't need it. If we get rid of that, use the lane arrows and do control left click. It will set up. The directions as it needs so this is here oh you've got this so they swing around and go back but you've literally got a roundabout right here that they could use and it would stop this slowing down so do you know what i would do is that so i just did control s this option here just to keep them moving on um so they're going to be in that lane they're going to be in that lane they're going to be in this lane and then once they got on, get onto here they can change lanes in the node of the roundabout so if we just have a look at this that should... Oh, we can hear people upgrading their houses. That all should keep moving nicely. And what are we at? 35%. It is slowly going up. So that was those two. That was this one. Uh, we've got this one. Yeah, this seems to be like a, a thing that you're, you're regularly using. So anytime I find any of these, I'm just going to do this. Get it all set up. Check your lane what's it. And then hope that you're okay. Yeah, there's also like these ones coming off the highway, which to be honest, until it gets any busier, I'll just leave it like that. Uh, we're fine. Um, so we've done these ones. I've gone across the top. So sort of going across the middle square. Again, no problem there. So I'm probably going to leave that. Uh, that is that one of the ones I've changed? Yes, it is. You can see I've got the yield signs. <laughs> we could probably make that a little bit rounder. I'm sure there's some bit in the network multi-tool. Yeah, this one here. Arrange at circle. So if we just get these four like that and then click. And then that should be... Yeah, there we go. Just line that up. A teeny tiny bit better. And I feel like I've got to do this one now as well. Yeah, that's fine. That one comes off there. Yeah, no problem. Okay, it's rising 36%. So that's all the roundabouts taken care of up there. This middle section, this one is the one that's really catching my eye. And it looks like it's causing backup all the way down here. Okay, let's just have a look at what we've got going on. So you've got some bypass roads. So this is probably where the traffic has got so bad. You then added in this sort of bypass to go round and to come off into different places, which, you know, isn't the worst thing necessarily to do in the world. Um, but what have we got going on here? So we've got two lanes coming in, two lanes coming in and out. Okay, so they're all two lanes and you've got three lanes on here. So that's good. So one more lane on the roundabout. This is what you don't want, all of this. So I'm going to remove all of those. Because you're basically forcing anybody that was in certain lanes. They're never getting a chance to change lanes. So we're going to delete all of those. And I missed that one there. And then we'll do this. Control, Shift, left click. There we go. So that now should give us one lane going off. All the yield signs. All the you go throughs as we mentioned should be okay. So we'll leave that going. So the only thing is, is this could continue to be an issue until the traffic goes down uh, getting a bit herky-jerky while the game is working out what's going on and you've got things like this where you've got two you've got one lane and then you split it into two to come into a two so actually this here could still be that so we get the one the one into the two and then you just say you go there like that so they get a lane each and then once they get up here they can decide where they want to go so that will work a lot better uh, coming off here, so we've got this lane which comes from over there. So that's like people can go up and around and join there. So you, you've done that to try and avoid the roundabout. You just really don't need it. So we're going to get rid of that. So this can keep on moving. Hard to see because of the trees. You've got one lane off, one lane going on. That's fine. This is one lane. Then you've got the two lanes joining. It goes into two. So technically you'd want that. So they get a lane each. And then down here it's just wool mother that's what it is down there so i'm gonna remove that this is okay because we want them to go up there and not do a u-turn so 
even though it's already set like that. I'll just do that so visually we see what's going on. And then what I would do is maybe have... I've got to be careful here. So if someone comes up here but wants to... Is there nodes along here? We can see with the move. Yeah, there's a node here where they can change. So they might start getting in each other's way. All these junctions so close together. And maybe we'll have two for that one. So they can go up and go on. Or they can come down here. And you're like missing a whole lane here as well. And you've got blocks in the road. Good gravy. So this one here. Oh, I can see what you've done. So that could go there as well. So you're not missing this lane. Um, that I would take out. That I would take out. Give them a chance to change lanes. This is fine so you don't get any funky U-turns. And then down here, look, we can see it's all clear. So ultimately, it seems like most at the moment are going right. I just want to check. So if they come up and want to... This is literally the only place where they can change. I'm just wondering whether we can sort this out look so we've got one lane doing three things we definitely don't want that so on these sort of junctions at the top you want a two lane highway so we're going to change that one there and we're going to change that one there and then we're going to use our lane and say only go left and right not straight on if you're going to go straight on you go up the middle so we'll do that on both sides there we go. So now they should be able to get out twice as quick. And then the only sort of choke point is this one because of the way this is all set up, which is a little bit annoying. I mean, what we could do is we could like move this back to over here, get that going a bit more curly whirly. I'm just going to pause it Ooh, on underground mode. We're going to delete that, grab that, and we're going to have this join up here instead. So it's a little bit further back and then we'll take this road i'm using the picker mod by the way to grab that road won't let me upgrade it let's try that again this road there we go we got it this time i think i got the tree last time upgrade that and then we'll do the you go there so they get a lane each there we go so now there's extra nodes they've got a node there and a node there where they can change so what we could do i mean i hate micromanaging this much but we could say, you've got to go straight on, but in that one you can go down. And then in this one, you've got to go straight on, but you can go up. And it just spreads it out. And then once this traffic goes down, because at the minute it's pretty bad, that should... See, look, already this one here is not backing up so much, which is good. And that should start going down, 35% still, and going through a lot quicker. Oh, I see. What have we got there? We've got four lanes going into two and a one. Oh, okay. That's probably my mistake. Let's put that back down to a three again. So we'll get one going off. Um, because it's not obvious, I'll just do that. Yeah, one going off and two going on. So actually, if there was a way of coming off here onto here, they'd probably do that instead of that junction. I mean, you've got a lot of houses and things going on. But if we could just put a little off-ramp here, just destroy some of these houses and apologize. We're so sorry. We're so sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Just like that through the houses i'm not going to bother changing this to four lane am i i might just change that to four lane go on then we'll upgrade it there we go so we've got a dedicated lane off everybody else will go on and then there you can go left or right i'm going to change that so it literally is just oh yeah it's not doing straight on that's fine and we might just find some would rather take the highway oh look it's gone already look it's all gone down all gone down all gone down oh that is just brilliant so we might find moving on that they will go up here instead of going down there, which is great. Okay, let's have a look. So all of this is going up here, causing all a big hoo-ha. Coming out here is a big problem. So we've done the lane mathematics. We've got two plus one equals three, but we also need to do Hugo there, like so. So they can merge, and then they can change lane here or here or down here, and then pick where they're going. Most of them are just carrying on by the look of it. And the same here. See, this is where junctions too close together cause a problem because I would do the same there. But then you're forcing people into a certain lane. I would do the same there as well. But then anybody coming in here is forced to go off. Everybody here is forced to go down. So that is a bad idea. And it is just everybody is just too close together. But what that means is, is it's making this become an issue. So this one's for here coming under here. If I could hook that into this somehow, they could all just come on in the same spot. But then that's like this one and this one all come at this junction. It's like, what the heck is going on? 
I don't know. Um, I'm just going to have a look at this roundabout. And see if we can fix it this way. If I do control... Okay, so you've got... I think you've got lots of different things going on here. So you've got the normal. And then you've got like four lane. Whoops, let's change that again. This one. You've got some four lane in there, which we don't need. Which I guess you're possibly trying to do the lane mathematics. But the best, best way to do that is control shift. Oh, you've got all of these in here as well. Yeah, let's get rid of these. Over use of those. Not good. Let the traffic do what it needs to do. Okay. Control shift left click. There we go. We'll get dedicated turning off. Yield signs. Two signs for straight on. Two lanes for straight on. I can't even talk. The traffic's so bad. Just want to see where everybody's going. That's getting so bad. They're driving over the top of each other. But as soon as it starts moving, if this can clear up, then this will clear up. So things like this, even though this is terribly bad, it becomes compounded because the traffic's so bad. But once the traffic starts moving, then it can just start clearing up. So you've got this going from two down to one, which really doesn't help. But again, might not be as much of an issue once the traffic is sorted. Um, people coming off the roundabout are just stuck because of this. Oh, my life. All right, okay, let's just have a quick look at this. This is another one of those ones that you've had before. So any of these coming up, the top end can be two lanes. So that'll be the same over there. And then we'll set that as only left and right and not straight over, which is fine. Uh, like that. And then this one here, like that. And then normally you'd have a giveaway up there. So this can go under here, okay. I mean, that might not help because this is a ridiculous situation that's going on. I'm checking you haven't got any other lines messing things up. Yeah, you've had to sort of squeeze those over because of the lane mass. I mean, you could downgrade this one to doo -doo 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 -doo, one of these. Let's make sure I'm doing this right. If I put it on that mode, it will just do whatever's in here. There we go, like that. So then you don't need to do all these extra hawky-borky lines because I'll just do it to show you. They match up already. And we'll do it in there as well, just to show you. There we go. So that is much better and should just keep moving through there. We'll say just keep going through. Probably don't need to do that, but I'm going to do it anyway. And then it's just a case of, yeah, this starting to move, which it is very, very slowly. So all the other roundabouts, more or less okay. It is something we're going to have to keep our eyes on because what is going to happen eventually is traffic will possibly change where it's going there's going to be some more of those isn't there yeah traffic will change where it's going and we might just need to then check oh man there's loads of these what the heck maybe that's why so many people have died is we've got all these little cemetery things oh man do you know what i'm gonna to have to do i'm gonna to have to go through and put in um cryopreservatories next to all of these oh, mamma mia. scattered about the place i think is what i'm gonna have to do let me just do that okay i've just gone around and replaced them all i think i've got them all if i spot any as we go along and what i've done is i've just popped them down wherever there's any here we go there's one here so there's a load of buildings that have been oh multiple problems i've just replaced one of those no one to collect dead people no goods to sell yeah that is generally caused by traffic which is now 46 percent it seems to be sort of more concentrated now around <laughs> the the top half of the city this is not too shabby this is still a big issue down here for people coming in are we going to look at this bit down here and see what the heck's going on so you've got lots of one-way roads which is fine um so these are all going up and then they're all coming off. So all of these cars, where are they all trying to get to? Let's have a look. We take that and click on this road. So some are going straight on, some are going off and just sort of spreading out into the city. Oh, okay. I wondered whether they were all sort of turning in the same direction. Uh, just want to check. Is this the one that I fixed? Yes, yeah, so we've got a lane for going straight on. Nobody's being forced to come off, which is fine. Um, when they do come off here, I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger so there's more space for queuing up. But then it's just like getting them out of here. I'm wondering whether a roundabout here might be good just to keep things moving. 
because it is so busy, busy, busy. Yeah, I've just popped a little roundabout under here. I mean, it is not ideal. This needs to be changed for a raised piece, doesn't it? But we'll see how it goes. It might just be that people can get in and out a little bit quicker. But you can see one problem leads to another problem. And it's like they can't get out because these can't get out. Because So it might be one of those situations where we just need to let things run for a while. Oh, man, it's getting really jumpy, jumpy. There's so much going on. We need to let it run for a while and start working. But we're almost at 50%. So I think what might be a good idea is just to take a look at the mass transit that we've got going on here. Residents per week, zero, zero. Have you just got nothing? Buses, nothing. Trolley buses, nothing. Tram lines, nothing. Metro lines, you've got all the metro. Okay, lots and lots and lots and lots of metro going on here. Passengers are go-go. Uh, trains, one train. Ferry lines, nope. Airport, nope. Monorail, no, 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 no. All right, well, let's have a look. I don't want to add buses because I think we definitely got going on. Not a good idea. All right, this one's okay. As soon as this one gets down here, I mean, they're not clogged up. They're moving. These are going to get picked up. <laughs> the game's running so slow because there's so much going on. Yeah, that's fine. They pick up. I want this one to pick up and drop off. Come on. Where's this train? Yep, there it goes. It's getting there. Oh, it's a very long distance. So, let's add one more. Let's make it six. There we go. That'll be fine. And then the Metro. This one. Hmm. Let's sort it by passengers first of all. I'll show you what I'm going to do on one, and then I'll go through and I'll sort the other one. So what I'm looking for is either too many metro or not enough metro, and whether they're blocked. I mean, they seem to be moving okay. This stop is, like, well oversubscribed, but it's right by the train station, so that would probably not help. And they're filled up. 150, 150. Do you have any other options? We do. Yeah, that's the one I want. It'll be 300. The underground train... So that should, I mean, 18, I don't think we're going to need that many at all. I'm just going to put that down to 10. And that should really blitz through. So as we're going through and looking at this, you might be asking, why am I not uh, automatically getting rid of the abandoned buildings? Now, I know there's like auto bulldo bulldoze mod and things like that. But unfortunately, if you do that, then you miss out on finding out the reasons why, which sometimes can be, you know, quite interesting. If I hadn't spotted the fact that all of my cemeteries are filled up, I could hover over there, no one to collect dead people, I could solve the problem. Now, I could delete that, and everybody around will be happy. There's probably too many of them for them to actually be happy. <laughs> There's so many other things. They're all stuck in their cars, so they're unhappy. But normally... If you delete these, there'll be a little ripple of happiness because it slightly increases the land value removing these. Um, but also, because they're just abandoned and not like destroyed or burnt down or anything like that, um, when the need rises again, the demand for residential, they will fill in. There we go, look, a little bit of happiness there. They will fill in again. Um, I think our land value is probably green everywhere. Yeah, I think you've been putting down... Um, our unique buildings, no monuments is the word I'm looking for. Oh, you haven't unlocked all of these, but you have a super duper high land value, which is which is great. So yeah, eventually once things start evening out, so these will start becoming populated again and things will start working better. Okay, so I've been leaving things running now for a few minutes. and Well, it's probably been about 25 minutes, something like that. And we're increasing in population. Look, that was up to about a thousand a week a minute ago. It's slowly creeping up and we're making money, which is brilliant. Traffic still okay, not brilliant, but getting better. So we're just going to leave this running and yeah, there's still a few sort of red hot spots around and hopefully it's going to clear up a little bit quicker. Let's give it some time. And while that's all running, just looking at our metro setup here, I've sorted it via name was the easiest way to do. I've got a sneaky feeling that you're Dutch. And if we go through here, we can basically what I'm looking for is they're nicely spread out, that they're not all filled. These are getting quite filled and there isn't stops that have got a huge amount left on it. So I would say this one needs one extra. So I'll just up that to six and then I'll go through to the next one. Check that. They're nicely spread out. They're not all filled. That stop is pretty... That's a long way to go. I'm assuming once that gets there, it's going to take quite a lot of those. Let's just give that a sec. There we go. We just pick them all up. But now that's filled. I think that's probably okay, to be honest. And then that's what I do. I just go through and just check each one like that. 
And I think putting in these 300 capacity vehicles has really helped. And we have got this one line here that I'm not going to try and pronounce. You've got 13 vehicles. And look how overfilled they are. It's even got more people than the train should take. How the heck does that happen? Oh, my goodness me. And we've got 300, 200, nearly 1,000 waiting over here. Wow. So let's just see if we can spot where this one goes. It's this purple line. I've turned all the rest on. So it comes up round here, down here, all the way over here, all the way up here, all the way up there. It is a massive loop, isn't it? And there's just so many people using it. I'm just wondering whether I could split that into two loops and have them sort of meet in the middle here. Um, I think that is going to work much better. There we go. So we've got those two lines split. I've given them the same name, but A and B. And that one loops around this side, and that one loops around this side. And then there's a little teeny tiny section in the middle. Oh, can I come out of this view? That would be good. Thank you, game. There we go. Excellent. Where if they wish to cross over, they can come across over here onto one line or the other, which is fine. The other problems I spot with your lines is like even just this one I've done here. It's so big that if anybody wants to get on it and go in the opposite direction, they've got to wait for the train to go all the way around. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to redraw your metro. Uh, we've got a lot of stations that cross over, which is good so people can get from one line to the other. But I'm going to put counterclockwise lines in on some of these huge loops that you've got. Like this one up here is humongous. And I think that will definitely help as well. So we've got 14 lines before I start. And once I've done all my loops going in the other direction, we are going to end up with... Well, we've got 15 at the moment. I've just added one more in. But like you've got this huge long thing up here with no metro stops at all. Which, I mean, with all the people that you've got here would just seem silly not to at least add a metro stop or two along here somewhere if we could hey, do you know what the land is extremely hilly which is probably the reason why you didn't okay fair enough okay we're done that's two lines going in every direction i believe for my calculations which is good and um, the downside of that is i now need to go through all of these i'm not going to bother renaming all the extra ones how many have we got now so we've got one two three four five six seven eight. Oh, i've lost count hang on well, i didn't want to believe it said metro line 26 there but it is 26 lines <laughs> which is good but that probably means that we need to lower some of the vehicles on some of these lines because people are going to be going in opposite directions um but we'll have to see how it goes and let that run a bit and oh my goodness me that is a lot can i click on that thing there that is a lot on this line yeah okay well we've got to let it run for a bit to think about what's happening and then we'll come back to that. I am thinking I might just go around and delete some of these houses. Oh, nearly up to 200,000. And we're making lots of money. Things are heading in the right direction. Oh, man. Playing whack-a-mole with all the places that are... <laughs> oh, my goodness. That are deserted, abandoned. And I think we pretty much got some of them. There's a few that have popped up here and there. But remember before, this was just absolutely covered from earlier in the video and now yeah hardly any at all 208,000 population plus 78,000 oh man this is going well i'm going to show you the percentage of the traffic very very soon Well, that was a pretty epic amount of time to fix that. What do you reckon we are at? I mean, if we're anywhere near 80%, I will be pleased with that. Let us come out of this view and take a look. 78%, 79%. You know what? That is obviously no despawning on. That is pretty, pretty good. I'm pleased with that. And you can see things are moving. Things are going well. Things are very busy. I mean, this is a densely packed area, but even these really weird hawky-borky junctions have all worked out okay, and I'm really pleased. The Metro is going fantastic. We're making, what the heck, 740-odd thousand a week, and we're at 214, so we're a larger city than we were when we started. 
that is just absolutely brilliant i'm really really pleased with the way this one has turned out so if you want to see more city fixes you're going to have to show me by hitting that like button leaving a comment subscribing if you're new and check out the next video on the screen as well thank you very very much for your support have a great day i will see you all soon take care bye bye